Howdy, this is my first dumpster dive. I kind of got hooked last night after I found that candlestick phone that I showed a picture of. This is a dumpster behind a thrift store here in Saginaw, off from Court Road. I've already pulled a bunch of stuff out of here. Um, I should have showed you before I put it in the bag, but I'll show when I get home. A couple of nice frames. I'm going to try to take those because I use a lot of frames in my craft work. A lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. There's a fur there. See if I can grab that fur. Ouch. And see. What did he? Oh, son of a bitch. That hurt, folks. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Okay, what is this? <laughs> it's a. Sorry about the jumble jumping around cameras. But, anyways, it's a uh, woman's fur coat. It is. I'm trying to find the tag. It is a. Glenbrook made in Canada a Glenbrook made in Canada that looks like a really nice coat um, But I'm not taking it I'm not into women's clothes too much, but there's all kinds of stuff in there, but I'm not gonna actually get In the dumpster because I hurt too bad This is a strip mall here, and I'm gonna ride down here and look through some of the other dumpsters and then I'll show you when I get back home what I found also on the way out here I found three dollars crumpled up on the sidewalk that's always nice and um, this is a good three mile bike hike out here and I'll tell you what I'm hurting right now so when I get home I'll definitely be taking a couple Percocet or one of my morphines but I will get back with you if I, if I find anything down here and if not I'll get back with you when I get home see you soon God. well I hope everybody is fine uh, I wanted to show you a few of the finds I made this week by um, out of dumpsters beside the road trash and a free giveaway that a church near here does on a weekly basis uh, so there were some really cool pieces and some that are not so cool but uh, I want to show you first these egg cups um, I believe these are Noritake I'm not a hundred percent certain a lot of the stuff had the price tags left back on it I mean left on it this has an N and a wreath with a crown above it now I thought that was Noritake but I'm not a hundred percent sure um, they look mid-century to me, very stylized. The, they were for poached or boiled eggs. Um, and even the, the bottom plate part is shaped like an egg. Uh, I found four of these intact. There was unfortunately a fifth one that was all smashed. Another favorite piece of mine that's gonna stay in my collection is this milk glass bowl or dish. Um, it is edged in gold. It has grape leaves and, uh, grape, and grapes in it there is no maker's mark on it but the base does have a leaf on it so if anybody knows what that might mean I'd appreciate it if you let me know it's really it's that's a lovely piece I found quite a few uh, plates and saucers that are commemoratives um, this first one is from the 1930s and it is from the Detroit Zoo here in Michigan I found a nice Wisconsin small commemorative that hangs on the wall. One of the, the United States Capitol with various buildings around the edge that are in the, you know, the Capitol area. I showed you this one early, earlier in the week. This is a United States Air Force Academy. Um, and then this one is from the Emanuel Lutheran Church in Sebawing, Michigan. That's from the 1950s. And lastly on the commemoratives is this one of the uh, Resurrection Lutheran Church from Saginaw, Michigan here, 1962 to 1987 is the, the date on that uh, particular piece. Um, we'll move along here in just a second. I want to restack these so nothing gets broken. So nothing gets broken, hopefully. <laughs> um, from Inesco, I found this, this uh, dish. It looks like milk glass, but it's not. It's uh, porcelain pretty piece. This ironstone piece, very heavy. Um, it has on it bitrate in carotate. And I looked up what that meant, and I can't remember, <laughs> but it has uh, on the base um, sterling manufacturers. And then mid-century, this uh, probably serving plate. Um, it has a chip, but I liked it anyway, so I brought it home. And it has a maker's mark on there too. 
Okay. Then, I believe I showed this in my video earlier in the week, but I'm not sure. It's a serving dish. It has the handle on it. It's the only one I've ever seen. It has a beautiful um, hand-painted rose on it. And on the back, it is signed in gold by the uh, person who painted it with a 68 in parenthesis. And I believe 68 means 1868. Let's move around the table. I also found um, this, this set of saucers. They're not old. Um, they look like uh, saucers that are used, are used in restaurants. Can't be sure of that. Uh, they were manufactured by, well, it says Suntan, Wellsville, China, USA. Um, and then this piece, which I also believe is a mid-century stylized dish um, with uh, uh, some kind of bluebell flowers on each end. A little bit different one on that end. Reminds me somewhat of the birch bark Indian bowls I used to make. <laughs> I found this milk glass piece, uh, hobnail design. Uh, again, you know, all of this was from trash or dumpsters and one giveaway. And on the bottom it's marked Fire King. That's in excellent shape. And then there was this milk glass piece, heavy, um, has no maker's mark on it, but a really interesting and nice piece that I'm, that I'm glad I came across and salvaged. Uh, there was a, a large uh, mixing bowl um, this is a, a modern piece. It is uh, from Pure One Imports. Um, and just a little maybe candy dish or what have you. There were assorted plates or saucers. Like this one, which I believe to be from the 1930s. Uh, this one looks to me like something that would have been popular in the 60s. There's no maker's mark on the back of that one. And there's a basket weave design saucer here, which is marked casual settings by Oneida. And, uh, okay. So that's pretty much it for this week. Um, it was a productive week. I found some pieces that I really, really like. The commemorative plates, the milk glass bowl with the grape leaves and grapes on it, and the egg cups. Those are going to stay probably in my collection, while everything else will probably be packed away except the other two milk glass pieces. Everything else will be packed away and uh, maybe used in a yard sale uh, in the coming spring. These pieces, I don't know how well you can tell from looking at them on my camera. It is a matte finish on the outside and it is a glossy finish inside the cup. These are really cool. I, I'm so glad I found those. I really like those. They're neat. I've never seen anything quite exactly like them. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the pieces that I found this week. Um, this next week promises to be a little bit slower because uh, I'm not going to have as much time available. But thanks for stopping by. Let me know your comments. Appreciate always hearing from you. God bless.